pediatrics and today I'm gonna talk about the comparison between what you call a breast milk and cow's milk okay so let's start so remember the cow's milk and the uh, human milk there's a breast milk breast milk is really very important for a baby and that should be given for a minimum of six months okay because that has a more nutrient for that neonate at that age okay so let's talk about the calories the calories provided by the breast milk will be around what you call the 20 calories per ounce okay ounce is nothing but 28.8 ml right or cow's milk is gonna be the same thing okay so the water or the solids component of this is the same both in the breast milk and the what you call cow's milk if you talk about the most important point that's asked is the protein content the proteins is usually what you call a 1 to 1.5 percent 1 to 1.5 percent in case of uh, breast milk and it's around 3.3 percent in uh, cow's milk so protein content is high in cow's milk but remember it's a, if, 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 if you take a most common protein that is more in human milk it's a way it's a way okay whereas in cows it's casein okay so remember c for c casein for cow's milk okay if you take about the carbohydrates carbohydrate content of the breast milk is around 6.5 to 7 percentage and mostly what you call lactose whereas it's lactose here will be 4.5 percent okay if you talk about the fats fats it's a low chain fatty acids this your breast milk has high low chain fatty acids whereas cow's milk has more of what you call medium chain fatty acids okay right here the iron if you talk about the iron mineral iron the iron is better absorbed here in breast milk uh, whereas in uh, cow's milk, uh, what you call it, it has a low iron, okay, and lower. That's why in USMLA they give that the uh, signs and symptoms of anemia, and they give the patient or the baby is on cow's milk, and you have to diagnose the disease. So think of it's a what you call iron deficiency anemia. So it's all this cow's milk is also low in C. That's a copper Cu. Okay, let me talk Cu. Copper is always low. Vitamins, if you talk about the vitamins, uh, it all depends what the mother is eating um, all the day. It's a, but it's very low in vitamin K. Okay, it's low. Breast milk is low in vitamin K, whereas cow's milk is low in vitamin C and a vitamin D. Remember C every time, copper, vitamin C, casein, okay? Right? And if you talk about the hygienity, what's called the, what you call um, the bacterial content of this uh, breast milk, it's uncontaminated, whereas cow's milk has harmless bacteria. So you have to pasteurize the uh, milk, and um, in developing countries, uh, they, they, uh, they should pasteurize the milk very well. Okay, and digestibility, the faster emptying where uh, breast milk, you know, that's why we pr we we encourage the mother to feed the baby breast milk for. Uh, at least for six months okay um, right the cow's milk is digestibility is it's same after what you call uh, 45 days of life okay um, then we have what you call uh, renal uh, solute load it's low and it's high in cow's milk renal solute load and this is not important for USMLE It's low or in a breast milk and it's a high in what you call cow's milk. Okay, guys. So this is regarding a brief introduction of uh, what you call um, comparison between the breast milk and the cow's milk. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.